Hey, it's Jace with Dad's That Cook, and we're talking burgers today. I've got my boy. Oh, gosh. All the way down from Colorado. He's giving me the challenge of making the ultimate burger. Why? Because I need the challenge. I am very particular about my burgers, so I think I'll be a great judge today. Anyway, we're gonna make the ultimate burger. I can't wait to show you. Let's get on it. Because you're from Colorado, uh -huh. and you go to school in Colorado, Yes. there's a lot of what up there? Buffalo. A lot of buffalo. So we're gonna eat them today. <laughs> Bison, which I found, and I've had it many times, is a lean meat. It's very lean, and it's a little drier because it's lean. We need to mix this meat up. The lamb has a lot more fat in it, and it's got a nice flavor to it. So we're gonna mix these two together. We're gonna saute up some onions, get them all caramelized, and nice. bacon, obviously. So my tip for you is to put this lettuce in an ice bath and the tomatoes. I think that would work really well to chill it. Get that, exactly. get that cold the crunch tomato. Of the lettuce. I like trying that. It's something new, right? Something new for us to do. Mm -hmm. Get that nice crispiness. Bingo bango, everyone. If you're a newbie and you don't know what bingo bango means, I hope you're figuring it out real quick. But bingo bango means you're cooking and you're having a little something, something. And I'm trying out some blind pig for the first time, which tastes really good. So bingo bango, everyone. Let's get this cooking going. The bacon is gonna be your fat. That's what's gonna get you that nice caramelization for the onion. So when it comes down to the bacon and you're barbecuing it up, the one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna close your lid, because then you'll be like, see how that's flaring up right there? You wanna keep an eye on everything. You want to keep it a little bit limp. You don't want it super crispy. You want it to be able to kind of flop around a little bit. So I got my fire extinguisher down here next to my grill, just in case, you never know. All right, so we're mixing our meat up. You don't want to over mix your meat because then it just falls apart. All right, so we're making our patties mm -hmm. and we're just going to make them all the same size so they cook evenly, okay? okay? Nice. About a half pound each. The other thing I like to use, I like to use gloves. Okay. Because, you know, I don't want to have all the meat stuck underneath my fingernails and things huh. like that. Yeah, right? That it keeps sense. your hands clean. So we're going to add our salt and be somewhat generous with that. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to add some pepper, some ground black pepper. That's pretty much all we're going to need because the meat is what tastes amazing. That's what we're after. I'm going to kick mine up a little notch though. Okay. okay. I'm going to do something on mine and I'm going to throw a little chili powder on it. Wow. Okay. I know. We gotta check our meat though, okay? okay? We don't want it too overdone. So we get our thermometer out. It's at about 125, that's perfect. Cause you like it, what, medium, medium rare? Yes. 130. Oh, look at how juicy oh, that is. Man. Juicy. Okay, so we gotta build this now, right? Brioche bun. Uh -huh. These are delicious. Uh, you can use any kind of bun you want, but I like the brioche bun. First thing we gotta add. Is the Thousand Island. The Thousand Island, my special Thousand Island. It's so easy to make. You got sweet relish, you got some ketchup, you got mayonnaise, you got a little vinegar, you got some salt, some pepper. I'm assuming you like quite a bit. A little bit. I'm not a big sloppy person. Oh, come on. I like it just, you know, just evenly. Like that? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I think lettuce is a good idea because you know why? Yeah, set it on the bottom and the juices from the meat drip into the lettuce and get soaked up. Good observation, Corb. Okay, we'll put the tomato on. Now, what I like to do with a little bit of the tomato, I like yes. to add just a little bit I of salt to it. I had a feeling you okay? were gonna say that. Just a little bit of salt, uh, no. and I would add a little bit of pepper, you know, because you want that tomato to pop. You like the pepper jack? I do. We want to have our cheese a little melty, yes. right? Yes. But I didn't want it overcooked, so no. I'm just gonna throw it in at the last minute. Okay. Real quick, okay. so that way I can get the cheese melting. Grab a little of this cheddar cheese, and we're gonna throw that on top of there too. And let's yes. let's toast up the top of the bun too. Okay. Just sure. for a second. That sounds good. Okay, see it's already starting to melt. Yes. It only takes a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds back on the grill, it got it to a nice melty part. What's our next layer? Maybe That's some bacon? Good. That's perfect. Cross it over like so. Oh, dang. Caramelized onions that we put on earlier. Pickles. Some pickles. Always gotta have pickles. You gotta have pickles. Always. Man, look at these burgers. I'm excited. How did mine get bigger than yours? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we put a few extra little things on there, right? I think so. How do you like your burger? You want it squished down? I like down? it a little compressed. Okay, mm -hmm. squish that guy down. Look at all that juice coming out over here. Wow. All right, so let's cut into it. Oh, man. Wow. 
Wow, that looks juicy. <laughs> that really is. Juicy. That looks really juicy. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff. Mm. Wow. I mean, seriously, the flavors. What was your favorite part of that burger? Um, actually, I would say maybe the caramelized onions. That really came through. Really? Which I'm not normally an onion fan. So wow. I know. I'm stoked that you like that. <laughs> so the other question is that Thousand yes, Island that dressing. Was fantastic. Did that make it for yes, you? Yes, it did. Okay, I'm gonna try mine. Mine's got a little bit of the chili powder on there, so I added a little something different to it. Here we go. Mmm. Woo! Oh my gosh, it even went in your nose. <laughs> Sometimes you just like your own food, mm -hmm. and sometimes you just like your own food. Yeah. Because we pulled it off at like 125, 130, it kept it nice and juicy. Good, yeah. And that lamb and that bison, the combination with the cheese, perfect. This is the best burger. This is the ultimate burger. <laughs> and hopefully we met the challenge. We did. Did we meet the oh, challenge yes. today, Corbin? Yes. You we, accomplished. I accomplished? Yes, you did. I did it? Yes. I did it! You know what that means? Bingo bango, people! The challenge has been completed. Woo! Bison lamb burger. Make sure you make it. It's amazing. You want a challenge? I'll give you a challenge, I'm so man. I'm mad at my father.